Soccer 605, we're here with John Dannenbring of Yankton Soccer. Uh, you guys just had another tough battle against Groton. We did. It was, it was definitely a tough one, especially after four games. And we played them as our, was it our first game? Second, Second game. And that, that was hard, and this one was definitely a lot harder. We're all pretty achy, and we need a break. <laughs> yeah, I was a little surprised to see you on this shortened field for the championship, but I thought maybe you were a little appreciated a lot more than we were. You no, know, yeah, I was definitely very appreciative of that. It, it really reduced the amount of running that we really had to do. Well, and didn't you guys go against them in a shootout in, at Soccer Fest? Um, yeah, those guys. I was not there for that, but those guys did. It was mostly the same team. They had some new kids. We have some new kids. But, yeah, they had a shootout, and our, our boys lost. So we'll have to work on that in the offseason. Well, and they got you by a goal today, they right? They did. They sure did. It was, oh. it was a lucky one, but they got it. So. Well, it's, it's been a good rivalry, oh, and I'm sure it'll yeah, continue. It's lot, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's even better because we know a lot of those guys, and you know, before the game and after the game, we'll talk to them. And it's not, it's not, like, the, it's not like we hate them or anything. No. So. You just like to push each other to the yeah, max. We do. Yeah, we do like to push each other. So, John, we're just right around the corner. High school starts. Yeah. What are your thoughts about that? Well, this has been a great tournament for us because we really figured out how to play play soccer. Before, we were really just booing the ball up. You know, we have a fast kid, let him go, and then that, that, stopped. That's, that, that doesn't work anymore. Yeah. And we really figured out how to play, and I'm really excited. I mean, we're going to lose Derek Brenner. He's been a brother to all of us, yeah. but we're, it, it'll be good for us. I think we have a lot of good kids, a lot of young ones that are really going to be really good, especially in the offseason. We'll work them. Oh, yeah. Now, and th this is going to be the first year for sanctioned high school soccer yes. for you at Yankton. Yes. What difference is that going to make for you guys? Huge difference. So... Well, we're, well, really, it's not that big of a difference, but the biggest difference is bus rides. And that's something that we really missed. I know for me, I was on the 2012 team when we yanked them one state, and after we won, it was kind of like, well, let's all go home in our separate cars. I mean, this year I'm really excited to have bus rides to bond with the team and have a little bit of fun. Yeah, and it'll be nice to get get that recognition in the school and yeah, that's right. and have your schedule be up there with along with everybody else's schedule, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's that's true. It brings a lot more awareness to the game, and we have a lot of kids that after we won and after we've had our success the last few years, they really want to start playing. Yeah. So we're really excited for it being sanctioned. That's great. Well, we appreciate you taking some time with us, John. I know you have to go collect some hardware here from this. Oh yeah. From the tournament, um, we'll see you on the the pitch in a couple of weeks for for high school. You betcha. Thank you very much. Thanks for showing up. With the most exciting high school soccer season ever coming in 2014, your friends at Soccer 605 are bringing you a site that's dedicated only to high school soccer. Hey, and this time it's on your smartphone. Check it out daily, or even more often, for schedules, scores, standings, videos, interviews, game of the week, weekly wrap-up shows, and even more. If it has to do with South Dakota high school soccer, it's right here on High School Soccer 605.